Welcome to Good Mythical More. I'm about to cry. Something about the wheel video that we just watched made me emotional. Uh, but first, before we take, we, oh, but yeah, you need to say what we're gonna do. Say we're, what we're gonna do. Can I say what we're gonna yeah, do? Yeah. We're gonna taste the chicken sandwich buns from all of these fast food restaurants and find out which one of those is the best because as we all know, that's the most important part of a chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. But first. I mean, it is a legitimate part. Uh, we're gonna take a new selfie. This one's called, that Gogurt was definitely expired. You hear that little noise I made? Yeah, that that's gonna come through in the selfie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so selfies. how do you wanna start these? You wanna just start with uh, whatever suits your fancy. You know what, Popeyes ha had a big moment and, it, and it, it just kind of continues. Let me tell you a little bit about Popeyes. Uh, it is a brioche bun. Mm -hmm. And according to Nicole, and that, that just isn't any Nicole <laughs> out on the internet. That's our very own Nicole from the Mythical Kitchen. Brioche's buttery French bread and it's sexy pillowy goodness. Sexy pillowy goodness. There you go. I'm doing the top and the bottom together. Yeah, I think I am too. And I'm gonna go a little bit in from the side. I feel like I can taste it. There was, was there chicken on? No, I don't think there was chicken. I think they just asked for just a bunch. Yeah, I don't see any chicken residue. We completely I taste isolated. Little, I taste a little pickle residue though. I I do too. I see a little residue on your face. What are you talking about? Maybe in like this area? I think that they did disassemble these the sandwiches. Yeah, they did. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, That's buttery good. goodness, we're gonna each rank these on a scale of one to 10 independently. Hmm. I don't know how much worse or how much better it can get. Like it's it's very. Yeah, it's nice. I, I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't feel like I can rank it too high. This we is gonna set a scale. I'm gonna say seven, but then I'm gonna have to just orient my scale around that, so. I'm gonna give it a six, and then I reserve the right to come back around to Popeyes at the end. So let's let's do that. I'm gonna have my own stack over here. Well, there's only one flag. Yeah, it could get confusing. Let's go with KFC next. Uh, KFC is a brioche style bun. Um, Nicole said that this. She didn't say anything. About she said this. nothing about this, but don't let that give you pause. So yeah, here's a good look at the top. The bottom kind of has a McDonald's kind of a vibe. So basically that shininess, I guess, is if they put like, I always thought it was because they put butter on it as it was cooking, but I think as they put like egg whites on it. You can definitely see the, the, the egg pickle. Egg wash. The pickle place. You see the pickle place? Yeah, well, that's got pickle placement Got a sure. pickle place. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna give you half of the pickle place. I'm gonna keep the label. I gotta say, this one's softer and more pillowy. I think it's a little. Um, I can't chewier. I would say it's chewier. I'd say that too. I'm trying to get away from the pickle place because that's it's too much. It's almost equal to me, but I'm gonna go six. It's a, it's a little chewier. Hmm. See, I can go back to the Popeyes. I mean, they could be made by the same people. But they're not. They're I mean, not. They're you not. found out that. I don't like it as good. I'm gonna give it a five. All the way down to a five. Yep. You just make sure you keep those in an order of tasting so that mine will make sense over here. All right, I am. What you wanna go with next? McDonald's? Have give you, me some McDonald's. Now, I've only had the McDonald's chicken sandwich on the show, and we were told that they didn't put enough sauce on it, so we didn't really give it a fair shake. I went through the uh, drive-through of a McDonald's and I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna try to make a healthier choice, but I don't want a salad. They've done away with I, all or, the healthy choices. I said, give me um, a grilled chicken sandwich. And we're like, we don't have that. Not only did they, you remember? They okay, don't have that. So you remember how back in like the early 2000s. They forced me into fry. McDonald's was doing this thing where they started trying to get a little healthier and they started doing like those wraps. Mc it was just like a, tor a tortilla. Yeah. Remember the they McLean? Had, they had a whole uh, section of salads that were pretty good. 
correct me if I'm wrong, they've gone away from all of that. And it might be, it could be like, you know, the way that the supply chains and everything in the world has been messed up. It's got a made perforation. It's to be healthy, it. but they've done away with all the healthy options. I think they just came to grips with who they were and what people wanted from them. Quit trying so hard, I guess. This is a buttered potato roll with a perforation for ripping. There you go, good boy. Now, I, I always thought the potato bread was supposed to be good because like Greg, it seems like Greg had potato bread and he would talk about potato bread like it was something better than regular bread. We discovered it in college, you're exactly right. And once you go potato bread, it's hard to go back until you realize it's not more calories. Different. It is different. It's better. Potato bread is like, it's heavier and. It's not better than brioche to me. Well, I'm a brioche we, we didn't have brioche in our college apartment. Oh, it's better than like straight up white yeah. bread. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. This one has a. It's a little dry. McDonald's. I can taste the McDonald's air in this. Yeah, like the inside of a McDonald's where you used to have your birthday parties. I'm serious. I can taste it. Four. I don't like it. Like suck on it. What? Suck on it. And you can you can taste the air. Well, it's too late for that. Three. Okay. I want to remind you guys. We're doing the Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway again this year. Oh, yeah. Got all new silver tea design and three prizes. So basically, this is where you buy the T-shirt, and that essentially enters you into a raffle for you to be able to win one of three different prizes. You're all gonna get the t-shirt, but you might get, if you get the golden tee, you might get uh, $20,000. Well, I think they're different colors. They're different colors, but yeah. So the golden one, save that, but one of the prizes is... A mythical mystery box. Mm -hmm. Another yeah, prize is... A virtual taste test with us. That would be fun. And then... The grand prize? $20,000 in honor of season 20. $20,000, it will be a check that will be signed. That and you can cash. The, uh, the giveaway ends on uh, the 17th uh, of September. So hurry, hurry on up, up. Come now. On. Go to mythical.com. No purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Wendy's has a pretzel bun. I would not have called this a pretzel bun. I'm suspicious. Because you don't see like pretzel sticking out of it? I don't see, I mean, I'm gonna have to taste it, but I'm, a, I'm almost like, is this a pretzel bun? But what is a pretzel bun? Well, I, I've had it before and I thought it was darker and lumpier. This is not a pretzel The only bun. thing I see uh, on our little notes down here is under Wendy's, we should order the pretzel bun. So I don't think that was a note for us. Oh, yeah. that's like a production note that... Uh, that slipped through the cracks and got to us. All right. So, hey, y'all should order the pretzel bun. All right, so we didn't get the pretzel bun. We got the normal bun, and we can rate that. It's Hold better on. than the McDonald's bun. It is the pretzel bun. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Okay, it's not the pretzel bun. I, I'm trying to put it back together for a second. Well, too late. I'm you eating. ate where the cross would be. There was no cross. I promise there was no cross. Yeah, it just tastes, I mean, I don't know what a pretzel bun, I've had it before, but I can't tell you what it tastes like. I guess I, pretzels. I've had it. I hated it. I'm gonna rate this higher than that. So this helps Wendy's. It's better than the McDonald's bun. What did I give that? A three. This is on par with the. This I'm, is, a, I'm gonna give this a four. It's I'm giving this better. a five. I don't know what I gave McDonald's bun, but this is pretty pretty close to that. What do we have next? We have. We want to go with Carl's. Let's go with Burger King. Burger King's a big bun. Hey, and that's a good. I, I'm embarrassed. To, I ordered it one time in the drive-thru and I was embarrassed to say the name of it, the chicken, because it just sounded like, man, y'all shouldn't have named it this because it makes me embarrassed to order it. Yeah, I would never do that. So, I, so I actually, I didn't say it. I said, give me a number, whatever the number was. Now there's a residual. It was a good sandwich though. I think there's like spicy residuals on this, but if you go to the middle. We have to avoid the residuals. That's what I'm making, man. I never avoid the residuals. Yeah, right. I, just ra I rake in the residuals. Mailbox money. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. So if you eat from Tom the middle. Tom Petty money. <laughs> yeah. We swam in Tom Petty's pool. Again, this is, uh, he'd no longer live there, though. Another potato bun. But you know who did live there? 
Mmm. Stevie and Ben know who lived there. A potato bun is nice. The pool where we shot fat dipping? Oh. I gotta think. You remember that? I gotta think. You know what I'm talking about? He was very clear to let us know that it was Tom Petty's old house. I gotta think that a, a potato bun is better than a brioche bun. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sitting here eating it. Well, I think it's more than just that. This is just a good, really good bun. It's a really good bun. Um, I I'm might give it an a eight. Seven. Wow, Burger yeah. King coming in wow. real hot. Wow, wow. Getting Owen Wilson in this piece. Wow, 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 yeah. I would love to see a documentary on his voice. The voice of Owen Wilson. Oh. What, like, what would that entail? It's a, it's a choice, right? It's a choice. I. Where is he from? Is, have we is, talked about is this your before? voice a choice? I mean, like. What are you saying? I'm saying I don't. My voice is not like. I'm not saying. I think anybody. I, there should the, be a documentary about Owen Wilson's nose. I'm saying his voice. Do you is think? A choice. Okay. Do you think Matthew McConaughey's voice is a choice? Absolutely. You, yeah, but don't you think it's a it's a confluence of where he comes from and the type of person he is, like. I think that if Matthew McConaughey is recording like a voice memo into a microphone that he has in a truck, because he does do this, um, do, does he speak differently? No, he's not putting on a show. That's just who he is. Uh, uh, Owen Wilson's doing the same. Luke Wilson, Lo, Owen Wilson is doing you know the what? same thing. But Luke doesn't. Yeah, because his own a, freaking a, brother a, sounds totally different because he's a different person. Man. Did they go? Now, uh, my voice is a choice. I'll give you that. Like, I'm choosing right now. Choosing to do what? To inflect, enunciate, emote. Okay, speak without choosing, and what would happen? Speak completely naturally. No one's listening. Speak without choosing anything. Just open your mouth and make noise. Don't even think about English. I love my life, namana. Okay, that you, seems like a choice. You kind of did like a little chant. <laughs> You put me in a tough position. I think you gotta relax your face a little bit. This is me speaking without choice. You're it's like you're 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 in you're under anest, general anesthesia. This is me speaking without choice. He's not all the way under. Give him another shot. This is me speaking without choice. Jack in the box. Uh, their spicy chicken sandwich comes with a buttery bakery bun. This is me speaking with no intention. Their regular fried chicken patty. It's a little lower. Chicken patty sandwich. I think my natural non-intention voice is a little bit lower. It comes like with a regular bun. The opposite of Chris, who we went to school with, who his voice got lower after he graduated. That's a choice. Yeah, I'm trying. Twice, you know, talked like this is like senior this. year, and he just kept doing this. And I saw him like ten years after we All graduated right. from high school, and he was still talking like this. And I was like, dude, you're making a choice to talk that way. I this can is. Tell. This is. This is. Uh... Wait, one day he just changed his voice. Yeah, I mean, it was maybe over the course of a week, but it it, it fell. It, it hit real hard. Yeah. It was like a second puberty. His voice changed. Before we knew him, like before he got to high school, and then at the end of high school, his voice changed again. This one's getting stale. He got stale. a job at Foot Locker. Ah, uh, that'll do it to you. Yep. He wanted to get the respect from the people that he was like putting their shoes on. Was it Lady Foot Locker? I don't think it was Lady Foot Locker. Hey. That's a. You know what? I gotta find out if it hey, was lady. A lady Foot Locker. Let me get a lock on that foot. This is not. Good. I'm trying to figure what, out. What is size it, can I has, get you? Has it been sitting out? Would you like our special socks that we, you could put on? Go all the way down. <laughs> yeah, Chris. Chris couldn't go all the way down. No, he was talking he all was, the way down. I can't go all the way down. It's like I. You know, I love the guy though. It hurt. It hurts to hear him. He's a good guy. I mean, everybody makes choices. Man, this is a bad bun. The choice that. Who's I think it's old, and I'm trying to like factor that in. This is a two. Not hold it against it. Well, they're all, yeah. they're all, they all got, they're get, all. got it at the same time. See, see, you're making a choice. They're all. Maybe that's my natural two. voice. I'm giving it a two. And finally, we have Carl's Jr. This is me speaking without intention. I think what happened. This is what my voice would be like if I did not think about the people around me and how I per was perceived. If I don't speak If I do a intention. voice memo to myself at home alone, this is how I speak. And my voice is kind of like a, a, a smoky whisper. This is me speaking with that intention. Uh, potato bun, 
they always also have a sandwich on waffle buns. What's a waffle bun? We don't have here. It's uh, I don't know. We don't have it. Oh my goodness! It's so hard to pull apart. It's it's jerky. It's like oh my gosh! It's were these all purchased at the same time? This one was purchased four days before the other ones. Hmm. Still tastes good though. That's a testimony to this thing. Once you bite into it. Really? Still kind of works. I don't think it's good. Four. Two. So where does that where does that put us? I think that put Burger King number one. Yeah, and Popeye's at okay. number two. G- give us the results here. So Burger King was number one. At with what how many points? Uh with fifteen. Wow. All right, and then... And Popeye's at number two with 13. Oh. And then... Rounding out the top three. At number three with 11. Oh. Okay. There you have it. Now you know. And maybe I should do it this way. Congratulations, Burger King how Buns. This, how this voice would work at Lady Foot Locker. What's your... You have any? What are you going for? A basketball shoe? You look like you've got a really low top. You look like you've got very wide, nice ankles that might need to be protected. So maybe we should lace you up in a knee-high Converse. (laughs) Try to don't push a knee-high anything on a lady. Yeah, that's their coming on too strong. I probably get fired. (laughs) You look like you have wide ankles. So let's cover up all the way to your knees. No, I didn't say wide. I said I meant to say like delicate. (laughs) Nice ankles. I said wide. I said wide feet. You look like you have cankles. So we really need to. (laughs) We really need to cover those up up to the knee. The the biggest high tops we can find. I mean, that's a delicate way to say it. Yeah, you get, you get one day at Lady Foot Locker if you say things like Don't that. Don't cry about it. Yeah, uh, I'm very sad. Enter the 2021 Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway by September 17th for your chance to win one of three extraordinary prizes, including $20,000. Visit mythical.com for details. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited.